Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Joy. This is an update on the project that I called a Christmas Project Pan. This project um, is inspired by the book A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. To know more details about this project, I suggest you check out the intro video for this because this is now a second my update on the Ghost of Christmas Present Project Pan. So in the Chris in the Ghost of Christmas Present Project Pan, these are the products I'm working on currently, or I worked on in in this year's Project Pans. So for example, this Tart Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and this Victoria's Secret Vanilla Lace Hydrating Body Lotion. These two were part of the Graveyard Project Pan, which completed last October 31. And then the rest that you're seeing are is part of my Project Pan 2021, which I called Use It and Lose It. Let me start my update with the Vanilla Lace Hydrating Body Lotion. This one, my goal is to use it 10 times and I managed to hit my goal. And the usage is, pre is quite normal if we compare it with this one because this is for 20 uses. So this one, it was not easy to use it 10 times because I, I tend to forget <laughs> that I need to use it. But I didn't manage because I, I, I wrote that down in my notebook that I need to use this and give an update for this a Christmas project pan. But for this Tarte Park Princess Avenue bronzer, I forgot that this is actually part of the project. I didn't write it down. So that was a mistake. And I forgot that I need to work on this 10 times. I only realized it earlier today when I was checking the my previous video just to make sure that I, where I am, just to make sure that I, what the goals I've set last time is what I still remember and I forgot. I just remembered it earlier. So I used this once. I just used this once. So I still need nine uses. So that was, this is a fail. My goal is actually to see how much, if it would look like it's been used at least after 10 more uses. I've been working, I've been using different bronzers actually in the past days. I could have hit this, hit my goal if I just really remembered that that's part of the project. Now for the, these five products, these are part of the Use It and Lose It project pan. And you can see here, this one, I've now finally used this up. And this one, it took me 16 uses to get to this point. For this BB Holic Everyday BB Cream, this one, I also managed to use this. I only used this recently and I used this seven times. It normally would take me five to eight uses to fully use up 4 ml of BB Cream. And this one, I still enjoy using it, although the shade is not my shade. I think this is still a tad dark on me or perhaps because it oxidizes. But I still prefer this over the other shade. There are only two shades available. One is light and the other one is beige. Now for this Squad BB Cream, there's still a lot of product in here. When I say a lot, I think it would still take me about 10 uses to fully use this up. And when I realized that, I, that's the reason why I started working on that one. Otherwise... I may have not used that one and I knew that even if I use that eight times I'm still not done with this so yeah but it I use this as part of this project 19 times and then we have here these two let me start with this Winky Locks Peeper Perfect so this is a concealer and I use this 15 times and there's still a lot of product in here. I think at least at the minimum five more uses That's an estimate a guesstimate actually, but it may take me more more than five uses So I really need to remember also using this It's something that I I seem not to have it in my routine or maybe because it's not really doing much on me It and then for this seraphine luminude I use this six times 
and the purpose for the reason for me using it six times is really just for the sake of using it and i really want to avoid doing that because i think this would do something but it just doesn't do anything on me i'm using it as a highlighter but i don't feel that it's doing any highlighting so that's the reason why i only use it six times so that's what you are seeing now that's where i am as part of the use it and lose it project pan i managed to use to use up two more products and then for these three i will continue working on them until i have until my my finale until my next update which will be the finale so for the and i'm thinking of using this up first before i do the finale it may be later than what i originally planned when i originally planned to do the finale so now that i'm done with the ghost of christmas present project pan let me share with you the products that will be part of the ghost of christmas yet to come project pan now before i show you the products let me show you the concept last year the concept is those are the products that i won't be working on the year after not immediately on the year after it may be later so in 2020 the products there are the products i don't plan to use in a project in 2021 but this year that's not my objective the products that i'll be showing you are the products that i have the newest in my inventory the newest that i got the most recent purchase on those categories not necessarily bought this year because i didn't buy a lot of makeup this year or i did yeah or including moisturizer i didn't buy a lot this year so some of this might be quite old or have been in my inventory for quite a, quite a while but they were the products i have in my inventory the newest that i added in my inventory so let me start with the eyeshadow so this one i just bought this early this year and when i got this actually it was not i got this with a good price but the consequence was i don't have the bl the brush so the seller took out the brush and i didn't realize that so this is what it looks like it doesn't look like it's it's been used um I've used this only once I've used the trust issues pinker and supreme and big wig and credit yeah I think those are the shades I remember using it just once and I only used that recently about a month ago so I would like to get more uses usage out of this eyeshadow palette and see if I'll enjoy it the reason why I bought this is because a lot of people were saying this is a good eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Another one would be this Himalaya Nourishing Cream. So this is the olive. I haven't opened this yet. So as you can see, this is still sealed. Let me open this and see what it looks like inside. There, let me just open it a bit. So that's what it looks like inside. So it's newly opened. And see whether I'll enjoy using this. I enjoyed using the moisturizers I had in the past. Such as the Belief moisturizer. The one I, I enjoyed the most was the Van Cream actually. And then another one which I just bought recently. This is the Juicy Pang Blusher. Um, the shade is... I don't know what the shade is. I think this is PK03. It's PK01. So this is 01. This is a liquid blush. This will be my highlighter. This is the Eliana Halo. The shade is iridescent white slash pink. So I'll be using this as a highlighter. I have not opened this yet. So this is still sealed. There's still that sticker here. 
And my plan is to use this as a highlighter. It's a multi-purpose powder. A loose multi-purpose powder. And then, I'm also bringing in a lip gloss. This is the BTLA. I think I bought this towards the maybe early in the year. I don't really remember. But I do remember that this was not part of my Project Hand Uses Lip Products Edition. So I know that this one, I got it later. And I've tried this already once. It's very pink. Um, not really my preference, but I would like to get to use this this time. And that one, my goal is to use that 10 times. So that all of my lip products, or at least most of my lip products, I've used it 10 times at the minimum. And then, so we have five now, right? So we have this and the eyeshadow palette. So there's just five. I'm thinking of adding one more. And the one more would be this primer. This makeup primer. So this is also from Eliana. I've already opened this to see. I just recently opened this to see what it looks like inside. And this seems to be something I might enjoy. I might prefer this over the one I've been using for this year. So there. So I have six products as part of the Chris A Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come Project Pan. I was thinking of putting in a foundation, but because the BB cream, the Squad BB cream, I didn't manage to use that up. I decided not to add in a foundation. I actually bought quite a few recently that still I, has, I still haven't opened or worked on. But because of that Squad BB cream, I didn't get to use it up yet. I decided just to stick with this. So I have six products for the Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come Project Pan. So that's it. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!